Hello, everybody. Welcome to Multimedia Management. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to access your Google Drive um, and then how to make a new folder uh, for our Multimedia Management class. And then I'm going to be showing you how to name that file and then to share it with me. So let's go ahead and we're going to get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is log into your uh, Google account. Once you get signed into your Google account, you'll need to go to these uh, Google apps here, okay? Um, once you get to your Google apps, you know, this is a really great way to kind of keep organized. And if you don't know this, you can move these icons around. So you can kind of structure this however you like. I always put the top three things as my drive, my Gmail, and my calendar. Now this usually sticks around in the same way, but if I know I'm using, like say, Google Slides a lot, like I'm making a ton of presentations all at once, I'll move that up to the top just so it's easier for me to access. But most of the time, my drive, my Gmail, and my calendar are the top three things that I have in there. Uh, once we know where our drive icon is here, we'll go ahead and open up our drive. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is I'm gonna have a series of folders and I'm also gonna have some loose files. And I'm sure that you probably have something similar, right? So you have all of your files here, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see. You have all of your files here, uh, and then you'll have um, our folders, sorry, and then you'll have all of your loose files here, okay? Now, if you haven't cleaned up your Google Drive ever, this is probably gonna be an endless pit of files that you'll need to organize. But before we get into that, we need to know how to make a new folder to put those files into, okay? So the big part about multimedia management is we're managing files, right? We're managing media, media equals files. So to do that, we're gonna have to make sure that we stay organized and to know like how we're naming everything and where everything goes. So just like you would file away um, homework in a filing cabinet into a different folder, it's the exact same concept, but it's all on the computer. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do to get a new file is go up here to where it says new. Once you click new, the first thing that'll come up is a new folder. We'll go ahead and we'll click new folder and it's gonna ask you what you want to name that folder. For multimedia management, you're gonna to need to name this your last name, comma, your first initial, and then you'll do an underscore. So that's to make an underscore, you'll hold shift and you'll hit the line button in the top right hand um, section of your keyboard. And then you're gonna name that multimedia, okay? So we won't type in multimedia management, we'll just type in multimedia just to sort of shorten it. You, that way you know what it is, okay? So yours will be your last name, comma, first initial, underscore multimedia, and then you'll hit create. So now you have made our multimedia management folder. This is where everything that you make for this class, it's where it needs to go on your Google Drive. We're gonna have a lot of files that start building up um, pretty soon here. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have a place to put all those files, okay? Now, what we'll need to do then is if we open this up, we're gonna see that it has um, no files in it, which is great, right? Um, because we haven't put anything in there yet. Uh, but you'll also notice that we need to share this with me, okay? So that way I have the ability to see what is happening inside your folder, because I'm gonna do random folder checks just to make sure that I know where everything is in your multimedia management folder and to make sure that we're all staying organized. To share this file with or folder with me, you'll have to go up to this where the file name is. So it'll be your, your last name, comma, first initial, underscore multimedia, right? We'll click this drop down arrow here, and then we're gonna go to where it says share, okay? So once that uh, share window pops up, it's gonna ask you to share with people and groups. All you need to do is then type in my last name, or you can type in my email or my first and last name, which is Michael Malloy, uh, or my email at malloym at cpsboe, and then you'll just go ahead and click share, okay? Once you do that, you'll be able to share it. I'll be able to see kind of what's going on. So that way, if you have any questions or comments um, about sort of 
how projects are being turned in or where things are, I can kind of help find those with you and for you. Um, but also, again, if we're not being organized uh, and you don't know where your files are, it's going to be way more difficult for me or any of your other teachers to help find your files if you're not staying organized.